Hello, hello. Now, welcome back to another episode on my Minecraft Hardcore. Episode 3 already. I'm excited. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm here, and we'll get to this in a, in a second. But first, my tools aren't looking the best, and I mean, you can probably guess what I'm going to go and do now. But okay, I think that's looking good. Now, a couple of things have changed in this world. I've extended the sugarcane farm quite a bit, actually. And as you can tell, I've completely cut down the bamboo farm. And you may have noticed this proper little staircase down here. And that is because I've started digging a tunnel. A tunnel for one, to get a bunch of cobblestone. And two, because I'm probably going to need this space. And you've probably seen there are diamonds. So I'm going to go grab those now quickly. <laughs> Oh, there's another in the ceiling. So that's 14. 14. Okay. And now if I go back up here, you've probably noticed, well, actually, you probably haven't noticed, but the forest has changed a bit. Now, I know you're wondering to yourself, Zetro, why, why all the cobblestone? Why all the wood? And I'm going to go back over here and show you exactly why. There's a good chance you've seen me build the Shulker Craft Creeper Farm a couple of times. One thing I haven't done before in Minecraft Hardcore is build two of them next to each other. So I've been collecting quite a lot of materials, as you can see in both of the chests but i'm missing two things i'm missing magma blocks and i'm missing observers so it's time for me to go to the nether although i've got some levels to spare i've got 38 levels and now i've got my fresh new diamond tools i am going to enchant them to full level 30 wait I've just noticed I have a heart of the sea. That must mean I can make... I can make a conduit. Now, to use this conduit, I need to kind of, like, activate it. I'm just going to leave it for now. But now, I'm going to go back to actually enchanting my tools, which is what I was meant to be doing. Just don't give me beta of arthropods. Don't give me smite. <sighs> Please just give me something better. Ooh, okay. Now, I want to make probably the best bow I can actually make. Now, if I put power four on there, that makes it power four. And then I put another power four on. Now it's power five. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I also got a couple of music discs. But I'm going to go grab some obsidian. I'm not sure if I have some down here or if I'm going to have to mine it. But I'm going to grab obsidian. And it's time to head to the nether. There we go. This is one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. I mean, it's not even that bad. I'm just, I'm just quite afraid of the nether. Please be a good spawn. Oh, no. All right. That netherrack is looking a bit promising. Okay. Here we go. Good thing I've got fortune as well. <laughs> Okay, I think that should be enough. Now I just need the magma. Where is it? There's some. Okay, now that is enough. Now I think I know how to get home. It should be straight across here. But I mean, if it's not, then I've got the cords anyway. I'll keep the boat in hand just in case. Oh no. These magma blocks are so scary. I think it's probably because I've died to them before. So they, I've just, I'm just remembering that. Oh, hello. Oh, I just went to the nether for like five minutes and that was, that was scary. Now I believe I need five. So 10 for two is exactly enough. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh my God. What is going on here? Okay. Now everything is in the chest. I must sleep and get started on the creeper farm. Well, creeper farms. Right. Time to build that farm. Okay, I think that's the first time I've actually done this correct. And now, of course, it's time to dig. I pretty much know what I'm doing because of how many times I've made this creeper farm. In fact, I'm probably going to put a bed here in a second because I don't want creepers and things to start spawning. I mean, it is a creeper farm, but I don't want to start spawning yet. There we go. I'm going to go sleep now, but I'm going to grab my bed and move it up there so it doesn't take me all this time to sleep. Bed, you are coming with me. Oh, killing an enderman shouldn't be this hard. I don't know why this is happening. He was one hit. Anyway, back to the creeper farm. Now I need to dig out this area, apparently. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. I don't actually know what ticking all of these does, but apparently you have to do it. And now I believe I do this, this, this. Now time to make another five or six layers. I, I don't actually know. But yeah, this is gonna this is gonna take a very long time. Okay, I believe that's all the layers done. Now what is part number three? Oh yeah. I now need to do all of the trapdoors. This is um, easily the most annoying part, but it's got to be done. Oh, no. 
There's another one. While doing this, I've also just had the thought that to go AFK, I'm going to have to be very, very high up. So I think when I do this, I'm going to cover this whole area in water just in case I fall. That's, I think that's a good idea. I'll probably even put like a pool of water on the top layer of the creeper farm as well. There's another done. Two more to go. Do I have enough trapdoors? Hopefully. Now, I believe I need to now do the final part, which is kind of the slab bit. Because obviously the slabs are so it makes it darker so the creepers actually spawn. But at the same time, I kind of need to make like a shape with both of the creeper farms together to make sure they both get covered. So I don't think I'm going to do that just yet. But before anything, we sleep. So now, I've got a few, uh, a few materials left over. But I think now, I'm going to just go and get started on the other creeper farm. But of course, I'm not going to make you sit through it because that would be, that would be very, very long. And I'm going to have to go and connect this one to the other one. Anyway, I'm going to go and build the second creeper farm. I've never actually done it fully in survival. So hopefully this goes well. And um, yeah, wish me luck. And now much, 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 much time later, this is where it's at. I think this is looking pretty cool. Now, some of the keen-eyed people may see that there's um, quite a few waterfalls going down. And that's, of course, because I don't have an elytra. Now, I could have just had one waterfall going straight down, but I... I think this looks cool. Up there, we've got the AFK spot, of course, looking amazing. And of course, it would be useless to have this gunpowder farm if I didn't just go AFK in it. So that is exactly what I'm going to go and do now. And yeah, this is it. This is where I'm going to go AFK. I'm very excited to see how much it actually gives me because this could be a complete fail and it doesn't even work. But we'll have to see. But now, I'm going to go AFK and uh, yeah, let's see how it performs. Okay, now I'm going to go check how much there is. In fact, I'm going to go down and sleep first. But after that, I'm going to go check how much gunpowder there actually is. I was AFK for around half an hour. I'm hoping... Oh, there's a creeper down here. I'm hoping there's going to be around 15 stacks total. I am also now thinking that I'm going to have to go get lots and lots of sand. But I also don't have shulkers. So that's going to be... Um, I'm going to have to take quite a few trips. Okay, I'm actually kind of nervous. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Basically, okay. So basically, eight gunpowder per one. So that's sixteen in half an hour. That would mean thirty-two stacks of gunpowder per hour, which equals to around. Over 2,000 gunpowder per hour. And now before I go get the sand, you know, I go to the nether, get a lot of netherite. I do need to do one thing. And that is enchant this armor. Which is a bit hard to do when I have barely any levels. So I do still need to make an XP farm. And I'm going to get that done at some point. But once again, for now, because I don't need too many levels. I am going to go and once again do a lot of mining. Do nether. Oh, no. Blast protection. That is not good. I'm breaking three. Protection four and protection four. In fact, I'm going to disenchant the leggings to see if I can get something better. Okay, I'll take it. In fact, I'm going to quickly fix this armor because it's about to break. Now, I admit this possibly was a bit of a waste, but you know what? I can always get more diamonds. And now I'm going to put efficiency on my shovel and now it's time to find some sand oh yeah i actually got so many emeralds from trading with those villagers over there but now i'm gonna empty my inventory because i need as much room as i can okay i think that's all i need now it's time to find a desert in fact i think there was one back this way going back to the first episode oh i should get a sheep farm at some point oh here we are. This is literally the exact place where I said hello to this bunny that is still here. But now it's time to get sand. Oh my gosh, my shovel is breaking so quickly. Yeah, this uh, this is not going to last long. I should probably check if I have an unbreaking book somewhere. It's beginning to get dark and my shovel is about to break. I think I got a decent amount of sand though. De definitely not enough. But I definitely think um, it's not going to take me too long to get the sand. Especially with efficiency. Okay, yeah. I don't want this shovel to break. I will go 
Home. Now I need a chest. Oh, you know what? Barrels would do. Boom. Now, do I have an unbreaking book? Oh, this one. Is that going to cost me a lot? Not at all. I'll take it. I'm also going to fix the shovel. Now it should last a lot longer. Now, time for more sand. I'm not even going to be able to fit a lot in my inventory anyway, so this definitely won't be my last trip to the desert. Wait. My, my Fletchers are gone. Great. Okay, yeah. I definitely think that's enough. Look at all of that. After AFK in for that long. Well, that is, um, I'm happy. Now just time to transport it all back. Good thing I've got spare barrels. Oh my. I've just realized how much string is in these chests. That's all the gunpowder. Now, the TNT. Oh, there's the first chunk done. There's some more. And there we go. 16 stacks of TNT. Over a thousand TNT total. Before I go though, I'm going to make a bunch of golden apples just to be safe. Okay. I think that's enough. I'm not going to lie. I'm very nervous, but now I believe it is time to go. Okay. I honestly think this is the most nervous I've ever been on this world so far. I want to try and find an area where it's quite close to the ground. So I should be good when trying to actually dig down. Because obviously I need to go down to like level 15 or something. In fact, I'm just going to eat a golden apple now. I know that sounds stupid, but you know what? You can never be too careful, I guess. I really wish you could use water in the nether. That would just make things so much easier. Okay, I think I'm good now. I think I'm all right. Oh, now I think I can actually go down. Oh, I don't even have that much food. Okay, it's looking like I may have to take a trip back up. But for now, for now I'm good. I just should maybe just not sprint that much. And I'm already seeing lava. I'm just going to dig for as far as I can. I'm definitely going to stay crouched and stay away from the furthest block. Because I don't want to fall in lava. Oh, I forgot about gravel. I suppose this will also kind of save hunger as well if I just walk crouched. I'm just going to keep going for as long as possible. I'm pretty sure you're not meant to do too many because of like the chunks and things, but... You know what? I'm just going to do the safest option. I'll just keep going until I can't anymore. Okay, let me just double check. Okay, I am definitely at level 15. I personally think this is the best level to get netherite. I could be wrong, but that's just uh, that's just what I think. Now, I know I've been going quite a while, and I don't know if that's 16 stacks of blocks worth. I'm probably going to estimate that I've been going for about 7 or so. I can hear a ghast. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's like up that kind of way. Oh, no. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep going. Oh, wait. I. Okay, I can. That's good. Okay. Now, I'm thinking, do I just place all the TNT? I, I would not be surprised if I've actually been digging for around 16 stacks of blocks. You know what? I'll keep going for a little bit more and we'll see. Oh, and there's lava right there. I can see it dripping through the blocks. Oh! Netherite. My first piece and I didn't even have to explode TNT for it. I'm actually surprised that I didn't find any sooner, but I'll take it. Is that two? Could have been, could have been three, but you know, this is probably the longest I've ever gone without hitting lava and then having to turn back. Oh, <gasps> some more. And it's two. You know what? I'll take it. That is now one piece of netherite armor I can make. Am I going to be able to go any further? Probably not. Okay. I believe it is finally time. It is time for the TNT. Now, I'm nervous, but it's time to go. I'm also very nervous to walk backwards now, even though there's like, it, it, there's not, there's not going to be anything there, but I'm very, uh, very nervous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So I've done five stacks already. Okay. I definitely think I'm going to be able to just do them all in one row. And as I said, I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway and see what happens. This is probably my biggest row of TNT I've ever done. I think I've probably done about six stacks before with through. But um, yeah, this, this definitely beats that. Wait, is that the end? No, it's the nether. <laughs> Five 
more stacks. After this one, I would have literally done 12 stacks of TNT. This is probably going to be close to around 1,050 or so TNT. Oh, no. I think... I think I'm at the end. Okay, even though I've still got 55 TNT left, I believe... This is around a thousand blocks of TNT. I'm even going to dig this way. I'm not going to blow up over this way, but I am going to dig this just so I can run over here after the TNT is exploded. Because, um, oh, okay. I'm literally about to feel like Indiana Jones. And I am, yes, as I said, I am very, 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 very nervous. And... Okay, I'm just going to sprint as fast as I can. I know it's probably going to go nowhere near me, but I'm I'm very nervous. And there's one of these guys. Okay, it should be still going. And I, I did overestimate how far I'd need to run, but... Okay, now, let me, uh, let me see the damage. Oh, my. I literally... I, I can't even see the end. Oh, there's some already. If you want to leave some guesses for how much ancient debris you think I'm going to get, I have no idea. I'm hoping over a stack total, but I, I could be wrong. But I suppose, yeah, leave uh, leave some guesses. Oh, there's already some more. I wonder if I'll get any veins of three. I assume I will. I mean, there's going to be quite a lot of ancient debris, so there's no way I don't get any whatsoever. Huh. Okay, I've got eight total, four from this tunnel, and four from digging the tunnel. I might even find a bunch of this on the way back as well. Oh no, that is scary. Oh, burning just loses hunger. It's so annoying. Oh, I know ancient debris doesn't burn, but I'd also rather it not land in the lava because that's going to be quite annoying to find. It may just flow through and I'll be able to get it easily, but it could just get stuck and I it's, it will be very hard to find. Oh, another. Wait, is this... Is, is this the end? I'm actually not sure if this is the end of the end of the line. Okay, wait, there's no way this is it. Is it? At, wait, is it? Oh, wait. Never mind. We keep going. Oh, one of these guys. Just go away, man. Good thing I didn't go home. Okay, is this the end? Possibly. Okay, I'm guessing this is actually the end, but... Once again, I'll go have a little check. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the end. Now it's time to return home without dying, preferably. Oh! Another two. Zombified pigling grunts. Is that what they're actually called? Not a zombie pigman. Zombified... I, I don't know. <gasps> Some more. Another two vein. Every time I'm burning, we're just finding the two veins. Oh, you'd love to see it. You really do. Look at that. Okay, I may have to just eat one or two more golden apples. Now, how do I get around this? Oh, wait. Was it here? Oh, yes. I found my tunnel. Oh, more. Oh, two. Three? Nope. I was being too greedy. Finally, I'm home. Well, I, I'm going to be home soon. And now, this is it. I'm now going to return home. I've done it. I have now got myself some ancient debris. I can get netherite armor. I can get netherite tools. Oh, okay. Now, I just need to kind of retrace my steps for how I got home before. Oh, it was literally right here. <gasps> I thought I messed up that jump. Oh, yeah. That's the way I went last time. I think I'm on the right track. I really should kind of make a trail. Okay. One more golden apple. I'm pretty sure my portal was right there. And I'm going to get made fun of. But you know what? I'd rather be safe. Come on. I'm basically home. Oh, oh, oh my. My heart is racing. I am home. 44. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be more than a stack. But I, I will take it. Back in my lovely bed. Oh my. Now, I need to go smelt this ancient debris. I think I already have coal in the furnaces. Okay, there we go. And I've still got a bit of TNT left. Nice. Wait, I've just realized I don't think I have enough gold to actually make them into ingots. Okay, how many can I... I can make three. Okay, I'm... Um, let me just go do something quickly. Oh, how am I going back here already? Yeah, that should be enough. I really should get a gold farm. 
There we go. That was a lot more, um, a lot more of a peaceful trip. Um, how many should I? Okay, I'm just going to make as many as possible. There we go. Okay, that's got to be enough. And... Nice. There we go. Oh my gosh, I just realized how messy my house is. But now, I can make full netherite tools. Oh my god, this is so cool. <gasps> I love that sound. But look at me. This is a momentous occasion. I should also change my tools as well. Okay, this this was a success. This was definitely a, a great success. Now I need to find some food. There we go. And now I believe I can end this video off right here. We got full netherite armor, full netherite tools, made this pretty cool creeper farm, and I'm very happy with how this world is going. I can't wait to do some more things in the future. I've got a lot planned for just the next episode alone, and I definitely want to make this armor into god armor. As I said, though, thank you, thank you very, very, very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.